fresh out of the oven. <laughs> Our coconut turnovers. Hello, welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Tammy. This is Tea Time with Tammy. And if we haven't met, don't worry, we'll be great friends. <laughs> well, this week we are exploring St. Lucia. And when I was there, my family and I stayed on Rodney Bay, and that's northwest of the island. And we took a taxi you know, to a tour around the island. Best to get that local perspective, local guide. Great taxi. And he took us to this lookout point where we're able to see cast trees, see all the cruise ships in the harbor. It is beautiful, like those Instagram kind of photos. But while we're taking photos, the smell of these baked goods. <laughs> from this man just kept wafting over and listen yo just mercy mercy i had never smelled anything so delicious it was baked in these drums and we bought one for a few of us a couple of us first to share and as we bit into it it was coconut and gooey and sweet and delicious <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're not sharing anymore. We went back and bought a whole bunch more. Very strategic move, Mr. Taxi Man. <laughs> I keep the pictures of this guy, and so if ever I go back to St. Lucia, I have evidence. Take me to this man's house. <laughs> well, what I wanted to do today for my armchair travel adventure was attempt to recreate this St. Lucia dessert, the coconut turnover. This is how it went. <laughs> we need to work with two batches of ingredients to make our coconut turnover. For the filling, we need grated coconut, finely grated, and I've got the frozen one, but you could use fresh grated coconut, and it's the pulp from two coconuts. We're gonna use one cup of sugar, some water, about half a cup of water, and for spices, we have ground cloves, and I just wanted to show what cloves look like. So these are actual whole cloves. This is our cinnamon bark. Now these came from the islands. I actually picked these up when I was in Grenada. This is nutmeg, and this is ground cinnamon. So we're actually just gonna use the ground cinnamon, the ground cloves, and the ground nutmeg. We also need pure almond spice extract and this is just for our coconut filling although we have our ingredients we're going to make our turnover in four simple steps Da -da! that's a drum roll <laughs> step one is to make the filling which is super 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 easy all we need is on a stove low heat Combine the coconuts, the water, and the sugar, stirring constantly until most of the liquid is evaporated, and what's left is just nice and syrupy. That might take us about five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna take that off the stove, add those spices, <laughs> and set that aside to cool. Step two is to make the sweet dough, that, oh, that bread, <laughs> that bread. <laughs> now here are the ingredients. To make our sweet bread, this is the second set of ingredients that we need. I'm going to half the recipe. So we need two cups of flour, half cup of warm milk, and one egg, quarter cup of butter, we need one and a half tablespoons of sugar, half a tablespoon of yeast, a pinch of salt, and maybe about half a teaspoon of sugar to activate our yeast. And then to glaze our turnovers, we need one beaten egg white. Everything's ready, let's give it a try. We can now go ahead and activate our yeast, which is yeast, warm milk, and a teaspoon of sugar, leaving it for about 10 minutes. Here's the before, 
And this is the after. While our yeast is activating, we can go ahead and cream our butter, sugar, salt, and egg. When that combines slowly, tablespoon by tablespoon, add in that flour until it's well combined. And then we can add that yeast and let that mix in nicely. Your dough should look like this. Our dough is perfect. So I'm just going to lightly grease a bowl and we're just gonna place our dough inside here, coating both sides and set that aside for 60 minutes, letting it rise. <laughs> 60 minutes have passed and now we get to the fun part. We can roll out our dough. I tried this and I got flour everywhere on my fingers, but the effect is still the same. We want to roll our dough out in these rectangles, placing about a tablespoon of our filling down the center. Then we flap both sides, roll it up, this is the turnover part, until we have something that resembles a loaf. Step four. We are now gonna let our turnovers rest for about 45 minutes. And then we're going to brush them with egg whites and sprinkle them with some sweetness. We're gonna add some sugar on top. Now here's a local tip for the baking. You're gonna preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you're going to reduce the temperature to 350 then you put your turnovers in at that temperature, letting them bake to perfection for 18 minutes. Easy peasy. And then that's it. We just watch, let it bake, and then we're done. <laughs> Here's how my turnovers came out. Fresh out of the oven. <laughs> Our coconut turnovers. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, it's still a little hot. <laughs> We'll try it. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. All that coconut goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about that filling. Oh, delicious. Needless to say, that was a resounding success. <laughs> it was so delicious and very easy. I hope you get to try it at home. Well, for this and other adventures, please subscribe to our channel for more videos as we explore our brand new country all in next week. All right, everyone. See you soon. Mwah! Goodbye.